We're at the end of our life. Let us live it out in dignity. Bob Amston is calling on Congress to save his pension and those of 1.3 million other Americans. The most egregious attack on the elderly people I've ever seen in my life. Four years ago, he found out the pension benefits he spent his career working for are at risk. And these aren't lavish, luxurious pensions. The average pension in central states is $1,230 a month. So you're going to take 70% of that and tell them to go enjoy their life. After years of lobbying for help, last week House Democrats took action. Pass Butch Lewis! Save the retirement for those who work for it! Passing a plan to create a federal loan Without program pension. to help failing multi-employer pension plans meet their commitments. The plan sets aside billions of dollars to save struggling pension funds, but the majority of House Republicans opposed it. Arizona Congressman David Schweikert says the plan will collapse and leave taxpayers with a bigger problem down the road. If you do the math here, we're not doing a lifeboat. We're putting a little life preserver out when we need a big lifeboat. The bill now heads to the Senate, where Wisconsin Democrat Senator Tammy Baldwin says Republicans need to get on board. My message to senators who aren't on board with the Butch Lewis Act is suggest your ideas. This gets worse the longer it's delayed. With Baldwin support, Teamsters are working to convince Republicans to find a bipartisan solution. It's a crisis, and we don't have time no more. Yeah, have a good, uh, In Washington, Raquel Martin.